Welcome back to Adventures in Freeze Drying for Beginners. And today, um, we're gonna do a little bit of an experiment with some grapes and parchment and some things like that. But before we get started, I wanna point out that I changed a few things up with my setup. One, I've moved my pump way over here on my table. Um, I got a couple of errors saying that the room was too warm and stuff. And so I thought it was important to get the pump away from the machine itself. Two, I've added this little fan down here. I found it for 50 cents on clearance at Target. And I keep that blowing at all times when I'm using the machine now, um, just so that way it just helps to keep air circulating and keep the machine working better. So let's go ahead and get the machine started and we'll jump to the kitchen and we'll experiment with some grapes today. So as I was waiting for my freeze dryer to get here, I had a sale on some of my favorite grapes. I'm not sure how great to turn out the freeze dryer. I didn't go overboard and go gangbusters buying them, but I did go ahead and cut most of them in half. And then um, just being on the Facebook group that I'm on, the Retired at 40s Facebook group, I realized that maybe I didn't need to cut them all in half. Can I just X them? Do I have to cut the skins? Um, I think I remember that you have to cut skins on grapes because the skin is too thick for them to dehydrate. So I thought what a better way to know what's going on than to just try this out and see what the results are together. The other thing I wanna to test today is the difference with like a fruit like this with parchment and without parchment. So I know how easy or difficult it is to get off the tray. Is it worth spending the money on the pre-cut parchment? Um, I personally so far have liked it because I like an easy cleanup, but is it necessary? Am I wasting money? For one, I know I don't have 10 pounds of grapes here today, so I am not going to worry about weighing my trays out. Now that I have those spread out fairly evenly per by all four trays, I'm going to take the ones I've done absolutely nothing to. I did X them, I did nothing, but froze them. And I'm just going to put them on this tray that has parchment. And then to make sure I know which grapes are which, I'm going to take the ones I only X'd and put on this tray that does not have parchment. That way I remember that just the ones that were X'd are on here. I just cut an X in the top of the grape. The ones that have nothing done to them are over here. And then I might spread these out across my trays a little more just to give them a little bit more space to freeze dry. So I didn't want to overdo it with stuff that maybe doesn't freeze dry as well or once it's freeze dried, I don't like. Um, once I figure out what I really like freeze dried, I'm gonna go gangbusters on some of those things when I catch them on sale. So we're gonna go back here in just a second. I need to make sure that my freeze dryer is frozen. I've gotten cold enough for us to put these in. And we'll put these in and we'll get it set to go. I was just going to go get the grapes and I was thinking about it's time to put those in and I thought to myself, can I close my drain valve? Let's find out if I did. It's been 15 minutes, or over I should say, since I started my machine. I've got the grapes ready to go in. I'm going to open this up. that don't have the extras in the middle. So I've got one with parchment, one without in the middle of the freeze dryer. The two trays with extra are gonna be the top and the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and get this closed. And then I do double check it before I ever hit start, I can see there's pressure on my um, ring, so that way this should form a seal before my machine starts. And then we can go ahead and hit start. Okay, so it looks like this should be done, so I need to check it. So I'm going to make sure I hit cancel on the machine, and then we're going to undo the drain valve and get this opened up and check things out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've got my machine opened up. First thing I need to do before I touch anything else on my screen is I'm going to double check and make sure that I think these are dry. Remember, we do have an experiment going on in here also. 
I had some groups I did absolutely nothing to. I had some groups that I X'd, and the rest of them were all cut in half. So I'm going to check the ones that are cut in half, because these are the ones I care about the most. They feel kind of sticky yet, and still kind of pliable. They're dryish. I don't think these are done. We're gonna go back in for a little bit. I'm also gonna check the bottom tray. Uh, this one's still equally pliable, bending in half-ish. Not as crisp as I want this yet. So I'm gonna put these back in for a little while. We're back in my kitchen. I've got my trays out. Um, as we look, you can almost tell like the ones over here on here, they had to have been axed because more of them are flattened and whatnot. So this guy is still really squishy. Um, some of them are kind of hard and big. These over here, all of them are um, Definitely hard. You can just see sugar between them even. Like they're just kind of weird. Um, I believe from the looks of this, these are the ones that I X'd on the top. Where over here, a couple of these look like they even like, yeah. If we looked at the door, you could tell like some sugar had exploded onto the door. Probably from these grapes that kind of got flattened. So definitely, you need to do something to the grapes. A couple of these maybe actually turned out okay. They're hollow on the inside. But I would recommend, based on my results here, cutting your grapes in half if you're gonna freeze dry grapes. Okay, so now let's see what's gonna come off of here easier. Is it worth using the parchment? Is it not worth using the parchment? And these are gonna come right up off my tray, obviously but they're not on the tray itself. Seems like just by rolling the parchment, most of these have let go. I don't think these grapes are gonna last long in my house as a snack, so I'm gonna put these just right into a ball jar. Now, how easy is it gonna to be to get these off of the metal trays? These are coming off. I won't say they aren't. I'm grabbing, it's taking a lot more elbow grease to get them off the tray than it did off the parchment. I definitely don't, I think I'm a fan of the parchment right now, just having to do this all the time. If I had multiple layers on here, this would really not be good. Um, it's probably not so bad since I had so few on here. But if I had more on here, this would be a bit of a nightmare. And then I can go ahead and put those in my jar. So as far as cleanup goes, Obviously, that's gonna just be a very quick wash. This might take some elbow grease to get it cleaned up with having all that sugar stuck on it. Um, whole grapes, X grapes, I don't think those worked well. I would recommend cutting your grapes in half if you want to freeze dry grapes. So there's our adventures in freeze drying for today. We learned a whole lot about freeze drying grapes, um, pros and cons of maybe using some parchment versus not parchment, and why those grapes should be cut. Join me next time for Adventures in Freeze Drying for Beginners.